What do you miss the most from pre-Rona life? Football games. Uh, I miss football games a lot. Every Friday night, go out there. Gives you a chance to look nice, wear your letterman, get on the field. At least here at Whittier, they would allow you on the field as an alumni. How has the coronavirus affected your purpose and passions in life? Well, first of all, I'm a football coach. So unfortunately, that's been shafted. Um, for a while now, we were supposed to start months ago. So unfortunately, we've just kind of been sitting here doing nothing. Uh, we've had little practices here and there, but we have to remain six feet apart. Um, the players have to wear these while we're practicing. Um, we can't be with, like, the, there's an actually set maximum for the groups that we can uh, use for practice. So each group, it can't be greater than eight players and one coach, otherwise we can get uh, in trouble over it. How have you been motivated by the coronavirus? It, it makes me want to, to not only teach, coach my, these kids in, uh, in football and in athletics and, and more about being a responsible adult, but it also makes me want to encourage them to do their own research and, and to really educate themselves on these, these, uh, these things that are happening in our world. How has the coronavirus affected your purpose and passions in life? Um, well, since I'm an artist, I'm very like people driven. So like when I'm not around people, I like lack motivation and I don't want to produce, I guess you can say. And if I do produce like art, it takes like months or weeks to come out and before rona and everything i would see other people like art and i'd like talk to them like they'd give me like critiques and stuff but now like i can't interact with people the same way that i used to and especially now that i'm in college and everything's online it's not the same i mean we still like talk about like our art and stuff but it's not the same like in person and like having an opportunity to like actually in depth like look at their stuff Has anyone close to you suffered from the virus? Um, my whole family, including myself, um, all had the virus. My mom had it the worst though. She was bedridden, like she literally could not do anything. She had migraines all the time, she was vomiting. Like it was the worst, like I was really scared for her. My name is Michael Estrada. I'm the president of the film club at Rio Hondo College. The, the way the coronavirus has affected my purpose and passions in life, well, I, um, I work at Disneyland and we all know what happened there. Uh, a lot of, everyone got furloughed and right now they're getting rid of 20,000 cast members. And in my section alone, my section of the park, they're getting rid of 2,300 cast members. So I'm on the chopping block. So I'm a little worried about my job security right now. The thing I miss the most from pre ruin Alive would have to easily be just being able to go out and go do stuff with friends, just go to the gym, all that stuff, you know. I always took that for granted. You know, I, I'm, I'm a guy that likes to stay in and play a lot of video games. So I always took the, the whole, oh yeah, I can go to the gym whenever I want, or I can just go out whenever I want. I took all of that for granted. And then when Rona hit, and all I was doing was playing video games, it really just like hit me all at once with the realization of, wow. All right, Michael, what are you gonna do now? What's your, uh, what's your plan? How are you gonna keep yourself sane? And it's just like, damn, this sucks. Cause it, cause what usually became like an escape from like work or school became like an everyday thing for me and it just, a loss is lost it for me. It stopped being enjoyable, you know. And it made me really miss just going outside and being able to do fun stuff, you know. That and working. I actually enjoy being there with people. I like seeing other people's, new people's personalities. I like the thrill of a, of a good ru work rush, you know. I don't know, I guess I'm a little bit of a workaholic. <laughs>